He's so tall, isn't he? All right, so I just want you to know when I go like this, this is the new universal symbol for saying huge. All right, so let's try. One, two, three, huge. So one of the reasons I think that I'm here is because I'm gay. I'm not just a gay, I am a a huge gay, right, exactly. I'm also a person who disclosed his HIV status like decades ago, and I don't know why I'm still kicking around, probably so I could see Bernie get elected. But I'm an AIDS activist and a healthcare activist, and the way I am about that is... All right, so I could tell you all this great stuff that Bernie did, like 1983, they were marching in Burlington, the gays when he was uh, mayor. He did this thing where you couldn't discriminate in housing against them. But then let's move on to the miracle of Bernie Sanders is going to Congress from Vermont. My hero is in Congress. Hello? That was... Yes! Who'd have thunk? Anyway, so along comes Don't Ask, Don't Tell. I mean, I'm not going to tell you whose policy that was that was put out, but Bernie Sanders, he voted against it. And so that was... And not only that, this Congress member from California, Duke Cunningham, said something about a bunch of homos in the military. And you know what Bernie did? He really just put him in his place. And you know what that was? Yes! All right, so domestic partnership in Vermont, very important. Remember what it was like then? No, you don't remember. Listen, it, 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 but it was a big deal. It was, domestic partnership was, civil unions were, I mean, it was all huge. And then all of a sudden marriage became huge. Who'd have thought? Just the choice, just the choice, just the opportunity, not you have to do it. Listen, by 2009, everybody statewide in New York State was for marriage equality. The governor, the lieutenant governor, uh, uh, the controller, uh, uh, even Joe Bruno was for it. I mean, it was like, it was, I mean, everybody was for it. And Kirsten Gillibrand, but I'm gonna get to that. I'm Chuck Schumer, finally, I guess, by 2009, thank you. Anyway, but that's when Bernie came out in favor of uh, marriage equality. And you know, when he did that, to my mind, that's... Exactly! So, now she's a New Yorker, right? Well, anyway, everybody else, 2009, she waited till 2013, that was not... No, 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 not, not huge, not at all. And, you know, the thing about Bernie, Bernie's is always against everyone who's against me. Hillary, she's never against the people who are against me. You gotta talk her into it. Bernie, you know he's gonna be there. Like, no question. And that's huge, right. So, and you know, she had a good record. I'm not even gonna have to, forget it. I was gonna say Secretary of State and gay and women. I mean, what was she supposed to do? She's a woman representing the United States by Barack Obama, of course she's gonna be good on human rights issues. I mean, that's part of the job. It's not so exceptional. Like, I would hope she would be that. She's not Condi Rice. Anyway, at least, uh, yeah, that's right, the piano player. I mean, you just know where Bernie's gonna be. I, I just wanna talk about this gun thing for a second. Can I just talk, can we talk about guns for just a moment? When Hillary was running for Senate, and I read this somewhere else, not original, she was like Annie Oakley. She was like shooting ducks, or I used to shoot ducks, and Bill was shooting ducks, some of them were caged ducks. I mean, they, they were shooting like, like they had gun things. And Kirsten Gillibrand, who I like, and I'd be great if she became president eight years from now, when she ran for Congress, she said she had two goddamn guns under her bed. She was sleeping on top of guns. I mean, does anyone seriously think that Hillary Clinton or Bernie Sanders wants people with machine guns running around the inner cities? No, it's a ridiculous. Just shut up about that. Leave it alone. The only good thing that came out of that was the Violence Against Women Act. She would have voted for the goddamn thing, too. 
Anyway, so put it to bed, don't talk about it. Hillary, stop, stop, don't do it anymore. It's a red herring. You shot ducks. <laughs> All right, listen, I think she probably, like, when Goldman Sachs, they're not gonna ask Bernie to speak there, right? I mean, let's face it. Uh-oh, I gotta wrap up. All right, so I think I'll just say this. You know, I know about family values. I think it's an issue that's... You know what Bernie Sanders wants? He wants to raise the amount of money that people on Social Security disability get. He wants that money to come up. She wants to give us all health care. He wants to give us all health care. And he wants us to take a vacation, and that's a vacation, yes, 10 days. Who wouldn't want that? All right, so vote for him. Because when he goes to the White House, that's going to be, yes, exactly. All right, now it's my honor to introduce and to call up here just an amazing fighter for racial justice and human rights and just and just won't give up, fights all the way, a Bernie supporter, just like Bernie supporters are, a human rights activist, Linda Sarsour. Come on up. We love her. Give her huge. <laughs> 